Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? I have to say, first off... Okay, let, let me start in order. Um, We're back to playing more indie game, mo game maker contest games. We're going to start with Unravelet. We have seven left of the official list. And then, um, there's a few that got requested, so I will probably do those, those two. This is Unravelet, and I have to say right away, this game pissed me off immensely because one, it starts in full screen, which fine, start in full screen. There is the option to turn it off, but here's the thing: if you, in, if instead of pressing Enter here to change it to window it, I changed it now. Um, you press F12, if F11, like the game tells you. What does it do? Oh, it goes into window version. Yes, it does. It also crashes your resolution to the minimal one. So your desktop is suddenly jammed. And I was like, fuck this. And I had to restart and everything. So yeah, not happy about that. I don't know what it is about um, these games that really love messing with my fucking computer. I don't know if it's... Graphic quality. The fuck does that even mean? Anyway, um, oh fuck, this is an XP game, so this means it has aguardas controls. Fuck. Right. Anyway, oh, that's our note out of the way. We have unravel it. Um, it seems like a tragedy game right away, but it has a good presentation. So let's go to new game. So someone got way out of hand with the motor, the motion. The fuck is their voice acting? Are you kidding me? Not the voice acting! No, that person disappeared in a, ra in a barrel! Help, it's the world of blurry ghosts! Okay, so the game is very pretty, much is obvious. Fuck is that? How the fuck do you? Hit this. Hit with it. X XP, XP. What's its name? How the fuck do I? Okay. B. B all the way over there. Fuck you. What is this? Z. Like how uh, the XP version doesn't let you just you have to press cancel all the way to fucking cancel just to fucking <sighs> say no. So pretty pretty, but there's nothing to do in this place. Seriously, what do I do? I just walk around? What's the point? So...
Seriously, what do I do in this game? There's nothing to this, what do I do in this game? Pretty, but uh, I'm just walking around. There is no tension whatsoever. What am I doing? Please, I don't know. It's very, very pretty, very well presented, but. Oh, fuck, are you kidding me? I have to press enter exactly. I can't be just. Oh, I hate this. What the fuck is this? What? Excuse me? Um... Yes, there is game. If you want to maybe tell me what the fuck is it that I'm doing, I will be much thankful. The fuck am I picking up? This chocolate... Glass marble... What? Just mean, yeah, that's wondrous. What does the f what the fuck does that even do? What is it? What does it do? Please, the game doesn't explain anything. <sighs> Look, I'm all for cryptic games, but uh, besides being pretty, there is nothing happening. There is no tension, and I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing? Just wandering around with no poor balls. I mean, it's very pretty, yes, but that alone doesn't make the game. I need more. So, what? Okay, that's a possibility error. I'm going to assume So... what? Am I doing something or not? going on does someone want to tell me you know I, I'm I'm going to say this it is one thing to have an introduction that you don't know what's going on but it is intriguing and it makes you want to feel to play but I don't know what I'm doing there is no tension here I am just wandering around purposely finding my parent whatever the fuck that is but I have no context I have no purpose there is no danger nothing is explained I need more than this I I'm not letting this pass. This isn't good. I mean, it's very pretty. Very pretty. But what else? Is there going to be no talking at all during the entire game? Oh my god. Why does everything blur? What is that thing even? Hmm. 
me, it's very nice, but come on, what is it? What is mother spend then? The chest is empty, yeah, they don't fucking say. How, how do I... So, what do I do? I'm not really liking this. Where is the content, please? So, you want to fucking get up the mo oh, Do you mean to tell me she can shimmy up this fucking shit and she can jump like a monkey but she can't climb fucking rope? Fuck you, man. No, I'm sorry. There's someone is saying um, the content reveals itself as you play. That will be fine, but there is not enough to start with. Okay? The fuck is that thing doing? I shoot too early sometimes. Well, when do you expect people to shut your game? They don't want to wait half an, half an hour for it to start, okay? You have to start, bam, one, two, three. Where is the fucking game? I'm rappling to someone in the chat, by the way. But, look, I know that you need time for the introduction, but it's been what? How long has it been? Ten minutes. There is nothing here to drive me in. It's very pretty, but there is nothing else. Do you understand this? I've been walking around with absolutely nothing to do. I... You need something for this kind of thing, okay? You need some sort of mystery, some sort drive to drive you forward. But so far, the only thing I'm doing is wondering what the fuck am I doing? I'm not doing anything else. I'm not especially interested. I'm certainly not invested. Well, fuck, I missed one. Yeah, wonderful. You can get up. Shit. Well, fuck that. Yes, there is music, but it should, it may have passed out. This is just boring, people. It's like... I need... It's like playing a very... It's... Right now, it feels exactly as if I was testing a very pretty set of maps. But there is no gameplay here. Climbing around is in gameplay. This isn't even a platformer. What am I doing, please? I'm not doing anything. I'm wandering around. And it's very pretty, but... This I have no purpose. I'm not particularly enjoying myself. I know an enemy. Yay, something's happening. And so I don't know what the fuck that shitty blue thing is. Oh no, you dog. No, the fuck you. Okay, I will say it's really jarring to have a completely muted introduction and then suddenly smack me with tutorials and a battle interface that is all about letters. I don't know who you could have done that better but it's definitely jarring. Interesting, I don't know, with focus on rage and skills lowering or... But... It just feels... I... I feel really alienated. This... This isn't good. I... If the enemy 
had come way before, before I was fucking bored of wandering around. But after so long, it's like, yeah, finally something happened, but it's not particularly exciting because it comes out of nowhere. Um, the game does a really bad job explaining with visuals what the game's context is. There is no signaling around. I don't know what anything is. I know it's a ship. They're dismantling ships, but nothing else. What's the point of this? Who is this dude? I mean, I guess he's friendly, but... Uh, this isn't intriguing. It's, it's just there and badly presented. The battle itself is pretty boring so far. I don't know about you, but I'm not particularly invested. What the fuck is this? What is that? I have no idea what's going on. design of combat is very lackluster. It doesn't feel impactful. Yay. Fuck you. Is this all the girl's imagination or some shit? coming here what am I doing is my parent here so 
buat <sighs> Please tell me she killed herself Really? Is this all just her imagination? I will go for that. Oh please, I will take any fucking... Uh, just no more combat, please, the combat was boring. <sighs> Yay, you can barely see what the fuck you're supposed to step on. Wonder. Five. Okay, I have to pick up more fucking marbles again. What for? I'm sorry if I sound angry, but this is such a waste of potential. That's like, but what am I doing? Please, someone explain to me. I don't know. No, the combat doesn't alleviate the, the tedium. The combat's fucking boring. It has no tension whatsoever. I know everything does the same, I even notice anything doing anything special. I don't care, look, I don't care so much that it would be fine, okay? If there was something to this, what am I doing? Can someone please explain to me exactly what is the purpose of all this? I don't know. It's really pissed me off, like, what the fuck is this? What? I'm not doing anything. There's no explanation for any of this, and it's pissing me the fuck off. So... What? Oh, just continue this way, wonder. The genre of a young girl, fuck that. Boring, that's what it is. Very pretty, but fucking boring. Oh, what now? that combat is the combat sound design is very unsatisfying it has no impact it's all so mellow it, oh God. okay so who's whatever the fuck they're not doing fine While very, again, very pretty, but it lacks impact. It's, mm, <sighs> Maybe because I just don't give a shit about these people. Like, who, who are these people? I don't know. I have no I care. It's so hard to care about this. I don't know.
mother please and I'm sorry but this is so boring extremely pretty very well presented but what is the content please oh god what I mean when I say that this is also empty like wh what am I doing I need a premise there is nothing happening I'm just wandering around there is no great secret hidden meaning just things just happen this isn't fun I don't know maybe this for people who really enjoy the tone but oh my god I just can't so fucking boring. It's, and it's such a waste because it's so pretty, obviously. Look at it, it's gorgeous, but. but where is the content? I can't find it. Young girl's trip, yeah, wonderful, but, but, but what's there to it? What is she doing? Is she just imagining it? She has a terrible fucking imagination, is this all she can do? Because this place is boring, there's a boring boss fight once in a while, but that's it. Oh, another boss fight. I mean, everything's so pretty, what's so useless, what's the point? about this but it just so unsatisfying I don't know how to explain it but it lacks snap it lacks, I don't know if it's just that the music is so mellow or what or that I have no shits to give about the characters but it's just it just really doesn't do anything for me for a system, this focus or rage stuff is very neat but I don't know, something about it is just bland what is this please? I have no idea So. 
you know, you keep playing in the hopes that something is going to happen and that it will be worth it, but uh, it's, it doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. And it's been 30 minutes already, and you're fucking with me. Oh my god, really? Backtracking, my favorite thing in the world, of course. Crying girl, is that what you're trying to tell me? Uh. Is that my parent? Uh. <sighs> okay, look, this whole have been interesting, but again, it's too obscure. What's going on? Uh, it doesn't work if I am not attached to the characters or if I have no interest and I'm already so bored. It's like... Oof. It's a very valiant effort but it's so aimless and... Uh, what's going on? It's not... Nothing about this is engaging. It's a very pretty empty mess. I want to assume this is all hell hallucinating the fuck out of it or something, but... No, I'm sorry, this is an imagination, this is lack of details. It could be fucking anything. So, this is flooring, okay. Fuck. Okay. This is... <sighs> look. If I sound so pissed off, it's like, look at this! It's so pretty! It could have been such a great game! But... But... Uh, but it's so empty! I mean, there's... It, it just seems like it, the author didn't really know how to do subtle, so it just comes around as non-existent. 12 what? 12 marvelous, lovely. Oh my god, the lag! Oh shit, it's lagging like fuck. Also pisses me off that I can't look at this. 
Like, I can't look at the items outside of battle, and battle is once every century. So when if I pick things up, I'm like, what the fuck are they? Because it's stuttering for me, okay? I keep thinking that the stairs. barrier eat them I mean when I say that this is boring. What's going on? What am I doing? There is no tension, no danger, nothing is happening. And it's not even that wondrous or anything. It's not like it's super interesting that the dungeon is wow. also say that while the graphics are beautiful, they are very confusing, they, they are a bit hard to see um, exactly where you're supposed to go, there is so much detail everywhere that it's a bit tricky, I mean, I'm not sure if that's the purpose of the game, but things tend to melt a bit, of course I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. It's the only thing there is, and it's not that good. Like, what the fuck is this? So, is that supposed to happen?
So is that my parent? <coughs> Dude, don't fling the doll away! Just for going bit, we didn't have to... <coughs> So I'm going to assume that death or a representation of death. I have more things. Right, so let's go with fireball in case we have to ail. And Dumb the bitch. When not even dragons can make your game interesting, you are in deep shit. <laughs> She's gonna die. <sighs> Second place, I'm adjusting the sound. <laughs> okay. I don't. Did I save before this? Oh, please tell me I saved before this. Oh, please don't fucking kill him again. Wait, yep. The items get used up. Wonderful. No, it isn't. that much damage. What's the fucking point? Explain to me what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, 
Mark the tornado on his face. Just fucking die already. Only 90. Oh. oh, fuck that. I can't revive anyway. Fucking wonderful. He just fucking killed me already. Wait for turn! Yay! Really don't like the fight in this game. Oh, come on, fucking die. Ah! Oh, are you really going to? You really have to do that. Yeah, fucking die already. Well, I didn't get all the marbles, but it's okay because the game let me pass anyway. I think that was a glitch, but I'm not going to complain because the jungle was fucking stupid. Oh, fuck, a second. Uh, there's, a, there's someone at the door, a minute. Ah, oh, right, so what can I say about this? It's fucking boring. And yeah, that was a glitch, because I only had like 2 or 3 marbles. I think I needed 11 or 12, and it just opened. Yeah, wonderful. I ain't complaining, let's save. Exited the game by mistake. No, 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 no. Please tell me I saved. Oh, please tell me I saved. What the fuck is that? Autosave, yes. Oh, thank God for autosave, yes. Thank you. Oh my God, I think I died for a moment there. I'll hail autosave. Fuck door, second Okay, I'm back. Uh, I had to open the door. Oh, please let us be near the end already. Right, so I'm guessing this is a memory of the world family. So what? 
something going on at that look what Puts my ear to you. Stop shouting in my ear. He's gonna die. We, I don't fucking care if he dies. I don't even know him. What? Are you a pedo? Fuck you. Yeah, that's right. Hit him. Hit the pedo. I just try to murder someone. Yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> story is good. What story? There isn't a story, dude. She's tripping balls. There is no story to this. I'll just let it be over for fuck's sake. Literally, this is walking through a corridor, picking up stones, and then saying, okay, now you can advance, and you go, and see a little scene that does nothing, and repeat, and repeat, and repeat. Ugh. I need way more than that. I am not so young that I can just pass this as, yeah, it's wood. There's nothing going on, but it's perfectly fine. No, I'm sorry, it doesn't work at this age anymore. I need substance. So what? You have to do something here? I'm lacking one marble. Where the fuck is it? Where is it? Thing. It just it fails a lot and very hard when it comes to actually making me care about the character. As far as I know, she's just tripping around, just killing someone, and her family shows up, but I have nothing to do with them. So why am I supposed to care? I, I'm sorry, but you can't just show me random people. Yes, they're happy. Bomb, they died. And expect me to car. I don't. I'm sorry, but um, you want to, in to introduce me to them way further than that for me to actually give a shit. It doesn't work like this. You can say, "Oh yes, this is very sad. You should care." I fucking don't. Why should I give a shit? I don't. Well, there's my daddy, fucking dead, of course. Didn't expect anything else. I just fucking killed the pedo too, so wonderful. Hello, monster. What? Ah! Oh. Fuck's sake, really? A lot? Are you fucking with me? There's nothing gone going on with me. <sighs> Sorry about that. Fuck. 
fire creature. I'm sorry, but there's no helium elements in this game. That means they are shit. I mean, by what the game tells me, someone's telling me that it's a fire creature, but by what the game tells me, I should be using rage attacks because he's in the blue. Let's try that and see if he likes it or not. Yeah, it does do damage. It's got nothing to do with elements. Did the most damage out of anything. Oh, for fuck's sake, what the fuck is this? Why does everything do so much damage? Am I supposed to just keep healing all the time? What's the point? Fuck this game! This is making me very angry. I don't know if you're noticing. If I die, it's not like I can do anything else. I haven't wasted, wasted any an item for fucking nothing. Yeah, wonderful. Fuck you, game. You lost. You don't say. What? Can just lose? Why in fuck's name would I even care about? Oh my god! So you can just lose. You can just lose and nothing happens. What? You just get a one less achievement? Why in fuck's name would I care? So I can work on this. Oh my god! This, this is a waste of time. What's the point? If I can just lose and nothing happens, also I can step in here. What the fuck? What's the point? Please, someone explain it to me. 
Oh, please tell me this is the ending already. Please, I beg of you. Yep, she's dead. He's dead, whatever. Who fucking cares? She just killed the old dude with whatever the fuck that was. Is. Um. of time. Nothing happens. Is that all? Oh my god. I was expecting her to... I don't fucking know. Uh, meet the old guy again. What the fuck was that about? Why did she kill the old guy? Was he just a molester? Are we just supposed to assume it is? Unravel it. Nothing's unravel it. I still have no idea what's going on. Speedrunner, are you fucking with me? That's all. Right. Right. <sighs> okay, I need to take some running start for this. Um, Let's just start with the positives. It's an astoundingly pretty game. The presentation visually is excellent. I think so far this has been the best looking game. Even if I'm not particularly a fan of this... Is, uh, the, the sprites sort of look like potty, so... It doesn't mesh so well on the environs since they so they're so cartoonish, but still. They were very well used. The cinematic was... The style was very good. Um, controls, controls were smooth enough. Uh, in some areas, what ledges could be jumping from were very hard to see, so you had to go more or less by intuition. And the sound was mixed. Uh, in outside of battle, it was nice, and inside of battle, the, the battle soundtracks. This something about the battle design, sound wise, and maybe graphically the skills. The battle just lacked impact. So when it comes to the battle, the sound was... Uh, it was so-so. But overall, it seems so far like this has a lot of custom... I, I at least can't, recon can't recognize um, any tiles or very, very few tiles from this. So it seems mostly custom work, so big bravo for that. But other than that, honestly, I... I'm sorry, but I just do not see what other positives this game has. It has... I don't believe this has a story, okay? I'm not going to... Be, oh, yes, it's just a trip. No, no. I'm sorry, no, it doesn't. She's tripping balls. And there's... <laughs> there's nothing else. And even then, okay. Let's compare this to a game... A good game... That... Um, starts with no explanation. In most good games that have no explanation, there is something driving you forward. Some mystery, some tension. Um, I can't think right now of one, but... For example, let's let's test, for example, Yume Nikki. That is another game that has... is absolutely fucking storyless. It has nothing. But Yume Nikki, also boasting very good graphics, it's very compelling universe, okay? 
there is a certain tension. The atmosphere is gloomy and oppressive and scary. There's weird shit happening everywhere. I mean, even if you want to go with very obscure plots, for example, Dark Souls, the plot is fucking lost. It's buried beneath liars and liars in the item descriptions. During the game, the only thing you, you know is you have to ring some bells, blah, 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 blah. But the exploration and the gameplay itself is so good that you don't even care. The problem here is that, besides the art, there is nothing really pulling you to continue playing. I mean, the level design is... <laughs> honestly, it feels like a time waster. I mean, it's pretty, yes, but there is nothing to it. You climb a bit, you run a bit, you jump, but there is no tension. I mean, you can even fucking lose the battle, so what's the point? Even the battles feel like out of nowhere, and what am I doing? Please? Why am I doing this? Someone just tells me, stop crying, find your parent. So? Okay, first, I have no reason to care for any of the characters here. What? Am I supposed to care for the guild just because she's wearing rags and she's... alone? Why? I don't... I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. It takes... By now, it takes more than that. Just a, a, a little dirty girl wearing rags does not automatically say, oh yes, I should definitely care for that. The, the story as it is, it, there is no one, okay? She's, her father, apparently, if I'm taking it... Uh, if her father is dead, she has to go find him. Um, there's... <laughs> If there is a message here, it is definitely way too obscure and vague to be universal, okay? I don't know if I am missing something, maybe? But... Things go unexplained, it would, would be fine, but they are unexplained in a way that is not like Whoa, that's cool, I wonder what that's about, it's more in a... Whoa, what the fuck is going on, I have no idea the game doesn't invite you to explore. Game is basically okay, now go to this place. And this happens. And we're not going to tell you what the fuck is going on. Or why should I care about this girl? I mean honestly, why? We know nothing about her. What? Because she's crying? Fuck that. Anyone can cry. Because she has an imaginary friend? I mean, yeah, I guess it was cute, but it comes out of nowhere. I'm not. I'm sorry, but I'm old enough. And I've played enough games and read enough books that just with that you're not going to pull emotions out of me. The only way you can actually make tragedy happen and make me feel like this is a tragedy is by making me care. And this game definitely did not make me care. It made me bored. One thing I like simple games. Fuck you, honestly. This is not about it being simple. This is about conveyance, about Tension about um, this is about the game making inviting you to come in and say, Okay, let's play. This game doesn't invite you to come in. This game puts you there and says, Okay, no, continue. And you say, But why? And this game and the game just says, Just continue, just do it. But why? What am I doing? Please. Even in games where you start with nothing, you're like, okay, I have to explore this place, and exploration is the draw. But here, the exploration isn't the draw. I mean, I know I have X marvelous to find, but every every location seems to be in her imagination, but it's unexplained, and, well, very pretty, I... It's really not... <laughs> Shut up, someone said that with this music, the speech is very profound. Um, how do I see this? It's not a bad start, but it feels like a very he early prototype with the map. What it feels like is as if someone had passed me very pretty maps and said, Hey, can you check this out for me? And I will say yes, and I walk around the maps, find the items, and the story isn't yet there. But it's just that. I'm just walking around. Look, there is no tension. Games usually have either some challenge or some tension. If What happens if you lose? What happens if you don't make it? If you fail the fight, you have to go back. Here, not even that. Even the fights that were already tacked on, which, by the way, had very pretty battlers. The enemies were very well designed. 
uh, even if I don't know what they were about, but again, it's so empty, what am I doing? When finally we get some backstory, and I say that um, very tentatively, what, that she had a family, that her mother died, I'm guessing? Or she got angry, or fuck, something? And her brother, her father dies, and her brother dies. I... So what? Explain me, what's the problem? Is she just remembering this? <sighs> Again. Yes, the hallucinations of a little girl. But the problem is, her hallucinations are not particularly interesting. There is nothing charming about this. And I, I'm... I can see how some people would like this if they had not yet been too exposed to this sort of genre. But once you've seen a few games like this, you honestly have to do more. More! This is a very good presentation piece, but it has no content. It has no depth. There's stuff happening, but why should I care about this? I don't give a shit about this girl. I haven't been any reason. I haven't been given any reason why I should care about her. Why should I care about her? Are not honestly. Why should I care about her? And not the dude she flat out fucking kills. What was he even doing? Was was he about to rape her? Was he a molester? There is nothing explained there. Like honestly, what's going on? I mean, the dad dies, I assume, but. And then what? And then what? She just comes back? What? She has to continue now? So what's the, fo what's the fucking point? Okay, so her dad's dead. And she has a miserable life. That's certainly not a happy message. Uh, and know what? Okay, to improve this. How could you improve this? I'm going to say what really, 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 really falls flat here is that while the game is very pretty and very well presented, the cinematics are, the movement is very well cared for. Um, but it lacks depth, it lacks presentation of the characters. Um... For example, if you had, from the start, I'm going to guess the old dude that came after her was going to rape her of something. I'm going to guess because there is no other explanation given. And she flat out fucking kills him. Um, okay, but why not introduce that character before? Why not in introduce me to what is this girl's lifestyle? I know she lives here, but what does she do? Does she just stay here all day? Does she wore herself out? Does she work? I haven't been shown anything. Uh, please, uh, I say this in a lot of games where the writing is bad too. Tell me why should I care about this character? If I had an emotional attach attachment to this character, it would have been so different. I would have been invested in some point. I mean, if later on it, 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 it still lacks. Like, what's her situation? I, I don't know. I... You have to... Look. It, imag imagine this. We have a puppet show, and I present a red puppet and a blue puppet, and I chase, and I have these two puppets, and one ki one who dies, and the and the other puppet is very sad. Why should I care? I don't know. You just stab it in there and just boom, kill at one of the puppets. I don't fucking care. I didn't know what he was. Uh, like, I need. Players need a reason. I mean, there are cheat codes that you can use music and stuff that you sort of cheat you into an emotional state, but it doesn't work with many people. I mean, it will work if they're not very used to it, but um, you really need to present your characters in a way that will make them care. Even if, uh, I mean, let's look again, again at Yuminiki. It's a very different game, but. In Yumeniki, you start, you wake up, you get out of bed, and you have a room, and you can't leave. And just by that room, there are so many things you can already see from the girl. Okay, so the girl moves around. If you try to go to the door, 
she will refuse to get out and she will look at the camera and go no and you're like okay there is something going on here the girl doesn't want to get out you have a console a computer you can write in your diary you can go outside okay so when there's nothing else to do you just go to bed and suddenly you see that she has a very weird messed up dream world and instantly you're like okay there's some shit going on here and you haven't even seen anything about her yet and the game is the, the game is one of things are uh, I'm talking about you Meniki, yes the game is one of those games that you can make a thousand theories of but it doesn't matter the, the problem is that you already know instantly that some weird shit is going on and it's it's compelling you want to know what the fuck the reason games like that get such a big following is because the games are very compelling they more than making you think they make you question like what the fuck is going on for example here I'm like with the old man that she fucking smacks off the, the, the ledge and he dies I'm going to assume um who is he are we so like the, the thing I keep saying that maybe he was going to rape her? How should I know? I'm just guessing on the m melodramatic, sad tone of the game. I say sad because the game tries to be sad, but I'm honestly not giving a shit. Um, like, who is this game? Uh, sorry, who is this character? He just appears and I just smack him off and fucking kill him. Why? What was he doing? I mean, he was just looking at me while I was sleeping. What was the point of that? Did he capture me? Did I have a bad relationship with him? Um, you see why this is so weird? I have like or the mother. She starts. She gets. What? What happened? Did she get sick? Is she just angry and we moved away? What? What? Or the stand with the ship? What the fuck was it about? I mean, I'm going to assume that they were purposefully vague aspects of the game, but again, it's fine if it's vague, impenetrable. No, you're just banking on the on the on the players making the right guess. You're not giving them hints, or they are way way. Unless players are already in the same mentality you have, which is not guaranteed. They're not going to know what the fuck is going on. I mean, I don't know what's going on in this game. That's what it boils down to. I don't know. And since I don't know, and the game obviously isn't showing me, I don't care. So, I'm left with an experience that is it's pretty bitter, honestly, because on one side, the game is astoundingly pretty looking, and it's obvious that a lot of work has been put in this game this was like wow it's almost everything is custom as far as I can see and it's gorgeous but it's empty there is nothing in it it's it's like walk from point A to point B and the trip is very pretty but there is nothing in it I know I'm saying the same and saying again and again, but honestly, it's just what it boils all do for me. I don't know how else to put it. It feels like a waste of skill. It's a beautiful game, but okay. And maybe that, in, with the vague notions that the game tells you, yes, this is sad. And some people may buy it, but I know many other people don't. It's like, why is it sad? I mean, it's sad, yes, but. Why should I care about her situation just because he's the blade, she's the blade of character? Or the fucking doll thing? I assume it's her doll, but he absolutely comes from nowhere. And it's not presented in a way that is that makes you wonder. <laughs> That's the thing. The game doesn't feel dreamlike. It feels random. It's like, yes, and then this happened. And yes, and then this happened. And you're like, yeah, f okay, but why? Is she hallucinating? But why? And from the get go, okay, from the get go, one thing that is very important to games is conveyance. And what am I doing? Am I looking for my parent? Okay. Why am I going so deep inside as a lone child when there is no one else around? Is my parent going to be there? I, I don't, overall it's just so loose 
I, for all I know, this game may have a huge backstory that I'm not catching, but again, I fucking don't care. It's so well hidden that I don't find it. And again, this is something I say for a lot of games, but if the maker doesn't make an effort to introduce the player to their game, the, ge the player isn't going to do that themselves. If the ga it's like saying, oh, I'm not going to do it. You do it yourself, but do it for me. It doesn't work like that. Ah, so, how to improve this game? Honestly, I'd say scrap the presentation you have for now and make notes of what do you want to convey. Is this is this hair just having this dream? Is this hair finding her father and remembering her situation? Okay. But um honestly it just like for example the setting, where am I? I don't know. Someone's in the chat is saying that this is India, Mumbai. Uh, how am I supposed to know that? There is nothing telling me this. It could be a fantasy world, okay. It could be anything. Uh, it's just making me so frustrated that there is nothing to hold on to this game for the most part. It makes me angry, honestly. It's like, it was such a beautiful game and it was waste. Anyway, I've been ranting for half an hour now. I'm going to stop there, move on to the next game. So, Unravel it. Very pretty, very empty. Emotionally, it's like get coke of calories. Zero. It, it isn't emotional. Maybe for some people it does. I know some people like the game a lot, but I'm sorry, but oh my god, this really doesn't work for me. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next game. See you guys there.